Oh, shit, I'm still way overloaded, it seems. I should check some- I should check before I sell that, I believe. Uh, let's see... Amiri, what is your... You can't even use that, uh... Huh. You can't use it either. Yeah, I figured. Hmm. That seems kind of worth it. But then... I'll give it to him. And sell the rest. <sighs> Nothing else to sell? Well, there's that. Alrighty. The rest is just shit that I sold to him. Okay. I feel like I should be buying potions. Yes. Oleg looks at you with respect bordering on admiration. And good riddance! Maybe now we'll actually be able to live in the Stolen Lands rather than just surviving. Oleg sighs. Without a doubt, more people will flock here now. It'll surely boost trade, but all the noise they'll bring with them... Well, that's none of your concern. I bet you can't wait to return to Restov and report your great victory. I still have some unfinished business here. Yes. I need to make sure that there's nothing else for me to do here. No stopping now. Right, how many days? Four days. Yeah, I can't afford to wait. Even if I d I'm not allowed to complete Amiri's quest after I can't afford to fuck around. The fog seems to be thinning, but we should wait until it burns off completely. In the meantime, I'll gather some supplies for your journey to make sure you can enjoy your trip back to Restov. lost my intuition for people not many would have managed to set out to the stolen lands and return with the stag lord's head but i knew you could handle it <laughs> congratulations are in order today you'll receive the title of baron before the high society of restal and even natala sertova personally gods bless her tomorrow you'll be able to return to the stolen lands if you wish but this time as a ruler what matters of state mm -hmm. can wait. For now, enjoy this feast in your honor. All the city leaders are here. It's a great opportunity to make some useful connections. Speaking of connections, let me introduce you to Kasil Eldori. He's my adopted son and apprentice. He's a trustworthy man. 
I'd like to send him with you as an envoy. Cassil, a young half-orc with impeccable poise, performs a textbook-perfect bow. Uh-huh. Do you already know about my encounter with Tartuccio? Of course. Keston gave me a full report. You dealt with the scoundrel perfectly. It would be naive to think that none of your neighbors will try to stick their hands in your affairs. <laughs> Especially that sly fox, Irovetti. Hmm. Well, an envoy's always good. I don't think I want to antagonize her. Enjoy your evening. When you're ready for the official part, come to me. Alright, so in other words, speak to her when I want to end this sequence. The hero deserves a reward for his... Hold on. The hero deserves a reward for his feat. A baron's title! All the high society of Restov are gathered to witness the ceremony. Even Natala Sertova honored the ce celebration with her presence, although she seemed almost ready to intervene. What could it be that so vexes the nobility? A mystery! Perhaps Thorkin Ironbrew will be able to understand it once he's become one. A high society reception is always excellent entertainment. You can drink plenty of expensive wine and stuff yourself with tiny sandwiches on sticks. Or you can skip the time wasted on gluttony and make a few useful connections. I believe I'll do both. Mega Varn. This man is obviously more comfortable on the battlefield than in the company of nobles. He's well built, but the expensive waistcoat he's wearing doesn't quite fit properly. As though it was borrowed. He has a few pale scars across his face and his dark hair is drawn into an unkempt ponytail with a few streaks of grey running through it. He greets you with a broad smile and a firm handshake. Let me introduce myself. I am Magar Vaughn, the new ruler of Dunsward. Your neighbor to the east. Like you, I'm about to be a baron. Great job with the stag lord, by the way. Not everyone could exterminate a whole gang of bandits with such a small team. How did you earn the title of baron? Truth be told, my team and I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Jamandi Eldori needed someone reliable to take hold, to take and hold the territory. I'm the captain of a mercenary team, if that wasn't clear. Vonling Host. Maybe you've heard of us? No? No matter. We've done work for Jamandi before. This time the task was simple. We just waltzed into the area, cleared it of the most brazen monsters, and built a small fort to hold the place. And for that, a barony and a land to own. It was a dream job. How do you feel about being a noble? Looking at his rich clothes, Varn smirks. Like a pheasant on a plate. I've killed, all, I've killed all kinds of monsters, but this is the first time I've so strongly felt like turning away could get me eaten. Really? He nods towards an arrogant man in the other corner of the room. See that lad? Baron Drelev. He's not like us. Who knows what generation of Baron he is. Didn't even shake my hand. You and me? We're like dirt beneath his boots. That's why those like us, the newly made nobility, need to stick together. Otherwise, he'd take my land and yours in the blink of an eye. Well, it was nice meeting you. Farewell. Goodbye! Once you've settled in, come pay us a visit. Ooh, Keston. Well, Tartuccio, hick. What? Huh. Pour up to the brim so that, so that, oh, I must be drunk, forgot the line. Huh. Oh, okay, she was trying to quote something. Hello, Jathal. Ha! <laughs> I'd like to see what you call real festivities, Jathal. I would indeed. Tristian. Hmm. 